Welcome to the lecture series of functions of several variables. Today we are going to discuss about differential form of implicit function. If u is equal to f of x comma y equal to c be a given implicit function of x and y, we know that the total differential du equal to dou u by dou x into dx plus dou u by dou y into dy. Since u equal to c is a constant du equal to 0. Hence, from the above equation du equal to 0 which is equal to dou u by dou x into dx plus dou u by dou y into dy that is dou f by dou x into dx plus dou f by dou y equal to 0 which implies dou f by dou y into dy equal to minus dou f by dou x into dx that is dy by dx equal to minus dou f by dou x divided by dou f by dou y. It's a very important definition under differential form of implicit function. If u is equal to function of x comma y, if you are taking u is a constant then differentiation of u is 0. We know very well that a differentiation of a constant is 0. Already we have taken u equal to f of x comma y. In our previous lecture video we have discussed a total differential coefficient that is nothing but du equal to dou u by dou x into dx plus dou u by dou y into dy. Instead of u if you are writing f that is also right because u is a function of x and y. So, if you are writing dou f by dou x that is also right. Okay. So, if u equal to c is a constant we can get du equal to 0. So, substituting here the left hand side 0, we can get dou u by dou x into dx plus dou u by dou y into dy equal to 0. So, instead of u if you are writing f, dou f by dou x into dx plus dou f by dou y into dy equal to 0. From this we can get dy by dx equal to minus dou f by dou x divided by dou f by dou y. So, using this now we can see some problems. Look at the question find find dy by dx if x cube plus y cube equal to 3 a x y. Look at the question question is find dy by dx ok. We know very well that dy by dx is nothing but minus dou f by dou x divided by dou f by dou y ok. So, look at the solution let we will take the given let f of x comma y equal to given function that is x cube plus y cube minus 3 a x y equal to 0 ok. So, what is the result we know that we know that d y by d x equal to question is find d y by d x. So, what is the result for d y by d x d y by d x is nothing but minus dou f by dou x divided by dou f by dou y we can call this as equation 1. So, from the given that is f of x y we are going to find dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y back to equation 1 we can get dy by dx. So, from the given dou f by dou x derivative with respect to x in this case we have to treat the y as a constant x cube differentiation is 3 x square and y cube differentiation is 0 and minus 3 a y is a constant derivative of x is 1. So, minus 3 a y this is our dou f by dou x likewise dou f by dou y equal to x cube is a constant 0 3 uh, y cube differentiation is 3 y square minus here it is derivative with respect to y. So, 1 3 a x is a constant. So, minus 3 a x therefore, from equation 1 from 1 d y by d x d y by d x equal to minus dou f by dou x. So, what is the result here minus minus in the formula itself ok we should not forget this minus into 3 x square minus 3 a y divided by dou f by dou y dou, dou f by dou y is nothing but 3 y square minus 3 a x we want we can take the minus inside. So, we can write this as can take 3 also commonly outside a y minus x square here also we can take the 3 outside y square minus 3 a oh sorry a we can cancel the 3 we can cancel the 3. So, what is our dy by dx therefore, dy by dx equal to 
ay minus x square divided by y square minus ax ok so under this type of problems first we have to write the formula then we are supposed to find the partial derivative with respect to x and y substituting in the result we can get dy by dx dy by dx equal to ay minus x square divided by y square minus ax next question find du by dx if u is equal to cos of x square plus y square where a square x square plus b square y square equal to c square here finding du by dx with the relation is also given that is u is also given there is another relation is given using these two we are supposed to find du by dx ok so what is given in the question given in the question u is given u is a function of x and y and there is a, a relation is also given so we are going to apply the total differential coefficient as well as dy by dx using these two result we are going to find du by dx by total differential we know the result what is that du equal to dou u by dou x into dx plus dou u by dou y into dy this is the total differential coefficient so now we are going to divide this whole equation by dx so what will happen dividing by dx what will happen du by dx ok du by dx equal to dou u by dou x this will become as 1 because dx divided by dx ok plus dou u by dou y into dy by dx so what is the left hand side du by dx equal to dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y into dy by dx you can call this as equation number 1 look at this equation in this one we can find dou u by dou x dou u by dou y from the given u and one more thing we are going to find that is dy by dx how we are going to find dy by dx from the given relation ok so first we will find these two then we will go for dy by dx ok now given u is equal to what is given given u is equal to cos of x square plus y square first we are supposed to find dou u by dou x so derivative with respect to x treat the y as a constant differentiation of cos is minus sin so minus sin of x square plus y square then differentiation inside the bracket that is 2x ok same manner dou u by dou y ok minus differentiation of cos is minus sin x square plus y square differentiation of the bracket is 2y why is it so when your derivative with respect to y x is a constant ok now also given that what is given also given a square x square plus b square y square equal to c square this is given so in this relation what we are going to do is we are going to differentiate with respect to x so differentiate with respect to x so what will happen x square differentiation is 2x so in the first term we can get 2a square x plus b square is a constant differentiation of y square is 2b square y into dy by dx because differentiation with respect to x the right hand side is a constant so we can get 0 ok so 2b square y into dy by dx equal to minus 2a square x so we need only dy by dx ok so keep dy by dx only in the left hand side so minus 2a square x divided by 2b square y we can cancel the 2 also so what is our dy by dx dy by dx is nothing but minus a square x divided by b square y so this is our dy by dx now back to equation 1 substituting all the values we can get du by dx du by dx therefore from equation 1 du by dx equal to dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y into dy by dx here minus into minus this will become as plus so we can write the positive term first minus into minus plus sin of sin of x square plus y square into 2y into a square x by b square y and here it is minus ok so minus sin of 
x square plus y square into 2x. In all the term we can take sin of x square plus y square commonly outside and here one 2 is also we can take and x is also we can take commonly outside. So, what will happen 2 into and x also we can take. So, 2 x sin of x square plus y square ok. So, here one 2 x and here 2 and x we can take outside sin of x square plus y square sin of x square plus y square we can take outside. So, here we can get only a square you can cancel the y also we can get only a square by b square and here only minus 1 ok. Therefore, what is our du by dx? The du by dx equal to 2x sin of x square plus y square into a square by b square minus 1 ok. So, here we have used the total differential coefficient as well as dy by dx using the two result we have completed du by dx. Third question find du by dx if u equal to tan inverse of x by y where x square plus y square equal to a square. This problem is similar to the previous problem. So, look at the solution given u is equal to tan inverse of x by y we are going to find du by dx ok. So, by the same manner du by dx from the total differential coefficient dou u by dou x into dx plus dou u by dou y into dy dividing by dx we can get du by dx equal to equal to dou u by dou x and this will become as 1 then dou u by dou y into dy by dx you can call this as equation 1. Now, given u is equal to tan inverse of x by y. So, dou u by dou x equal to derivative with respect to x differentiation of tan inverse x. So, 1 by 1 plus x square ok. So, inside the bracket we treat it as x. So, x square by y square then derivation of the bracket what is here 1 by y ok. And now you can take the LCM y square plus x square whole divided by y square that y square will come into the numerator. So, y square by you can write this as x square plus y square into 1 by y ok. You can cancel the y. So, our dou u by dou x equal to dou u by dou x equal to y by x square plus y square. Likewise, dou u by dou y equal to tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square that is x square by y square differentiation inside the bracket that is 1 by y differentiation is minus x by y square ok. So, when you are taking LCM this can be written as y square by x square plus y square into minus x by y square you can cancel the y square. So, what is our dou u by dou y dou u by dou y equal to minus x by x square plus y square. So, this is our dou u by dou y. Now, the given relation what is given? Given one is also given x square plus y square equal to a square differentiate with respect to x differentiate with respect to x. So, what will happen 2 x plus 2 y into dy by dx right hand side is 0 because a square is a constant. So, we can get dy by dx. So, our dy by dx equal to this term will go to the right hand side plus 2 x will become as minus 2 x we can cancel the 2 also. So, dy by dx equal to minus x by y back to our equation 1 substituting all the values we can get du by dx. Therefore, from equation 1 du by dx equal to dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y into dy by dx ok minus into minus will become plus. So, we can get y by x square plus y square plus x square by y into x square plus y square. So, we can take LCM. So, this will become as y square plus x square whole divided by y into x square plus y square. Thus, this can be written as x square plus y square divided by y into 
x square plus y square. So, we can cancel these two. Therefore, what is our dy by dx sorry du by dx du by dx is nothing but 1 by y ok. So, this is the answer for du by dx. Look at the fourth question if z equal to f of x plus ct plus phi of x plus ct prove that dou square z by dou t square equal to c square into dou square z by dou x square. Here z is a function of x and t. Okay. And we are going to prove this result that is dou square z by dou t square equal to c square into dou square z by dou x square. So, we are going to find all the four derivatives equating this we can get the result that is from the given z first we will find dou z by dou x. Okay. Look at the solution dou z by dou x equal to partial derivative with respect to x. So, what will happen f of x plus ct derivative first time means we can get f dash of x plus ct then inside the bracket term we are going to derivate with respect to x. So, we can get only 1 ct is a constant no need to write this one ok if you want we can make it as 1 plus differentiation of phi is phi dash of x plus ct into 1 ok. This is our dou z by dou x. Here we need to find dou square z by dou x square. So, again differentiate with, uh, with respect to x. So, what will happen? Dou square z by dou x square equal to first derivative when you are differentiating again we can get second derivative that is f double dash of x plus ct again it will be 1 ok. Then phi dash of x plus ct. So, we can get phi double dash of x plus ct into 1. You can call this as equation 1 because in the question dou square z by dou x square is there. So, we got the answer for dou square z by dou x square. Next we are going to find dou square z by dou t square. So, for that first we will find dou z by dou t derivative with respect to t same manner. So, first f dash f dash of x plus ct differentiation of s is f is f dash and differentiation of ct ok derivative with respect to t. In that case we have to treat the x as a constant here c into t differentiation of t is 1. So, c will come ok plus phi differentiation is phi dash x plus c t into c. Here also derivative with respect to t differentiation of t is 1 we have to treat the c as a constant. So, into c this is dou z by dou t differentiation again with respect to t. So, dou square z by dou t square f dash differentiation is f double dash x plus c t into c already one c is there. So, we can get c square plus phi dash differentiation is phi double dash of x plus c t into c already one c is there. So, we can get c square in these two term we can take the c square outside. So, what will happen f double dash of x plus c t plus phi double dash of x plus c t. Okay. So, this is our equation 2. What is our left hand side? Left hand side is dou square z by dou t square. So, which is equal to c square into look at this f double dash plus phi double dash compare with equation 1. Equation 1 this is nothing but what dou square z by dou x square. So, c square into dou square z by dou x square from equation 1. Is it clear? Instead of this we can make it as dou square z by dou x square from equation 1. Therefore, dou square z by dou t square equal to c square into dou square z by dou x square. This is what we, are, we have to prove in the question. Look at the question dou square z by dou t square equal to c square into dou square z by dou x square. Now, we have arrived the result dou square z by dou t square equal to c square into dou square z by dou x square ok. So, this is the way we have to do problem under total differential with dy by dx ok. Thank you for watching.